Hey, buddy, uh, how much of a jump to you as the pass rush really taken since week one of the Arkansas State game? And, and what do you attribute all of that to? Um, I, I, we're getting better um, as far as applying pressure to the quarterback. Uh, the first week, uh, obviously, we didn't do a lot of things very well <laughs> the first week. Um, but I do think um, Khalid being, being in the mix, he didn't play in the first game. We didn't have, have him available in the first ball game. Um, being back, he helps the rotation. Uh, he brings a little bit more speed uh, to the position. Uh, so he's one of the reasons. And then also, uh, we've been able to find a, 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 a rotation, a lineup that we can get uh, some speed on the inside uh, and help and to help us generate a little bit more pass rush. So uh, I think guys have just continued to emerge. Um, if it's Bronson Massey or if it's uh, Kamari Gaines or uh, um, Felix, and a DK, you know, uh, you know they they all been doing a really good job. Uh, Spencer Trussell. I mean, he, we have more guys, and we can keep them fresh. Uh, uh, you know, so we're rotating a little bit more throughout the game, and then uh, on third downs, uh, we try to put the speed speed group out there, and then uh, also in two minute situations or in fourth quarter when when we need to, uh, hopefully try to keep them fresh so they'll be ready to go at, at that time. How do you assess Wyatt's season so far and just where he's at right now? Uh, I think Wyatt is having a, a good year. You know, obviously expectations for his expectations, as long with everybody else, is, a, is really, really huge. Uh, but I, I do – I told him the other day, I said, why you, you're having an impact on the game in ways that you don't even realize and that other people don't realize because they got to pay a lot of attention to him because he's such a – you know, he's a, he's a really good football player. Um, you know, obviously, uh, he's also uh, kind of a perfectionist, so he wants to be do everything just right. And uh, as a coach, you love that uh, in your players. Um, and I just, and just, I just try to tell him he just got to relax and continue to play. Don't, don't press. Uh, you know, uh, with the emergence of some other guys along that front, it's going to help you. Uh, you know, you're going to get more opportunities in one on ones and things like that. And 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 then your you know your time is coming. You know, as long as as long as uh, you continue to believe in in what you're doing and what we're doing, then then we'll be fine. Thanks, buddy. Fitz. Hey, coach. Um, one of the one of the tougher things for defensive ends to execute is what you guys did on Saturday, which is kind of maintain your lane. Don't don't just go try to get the quarterback and squeeze that pocket. Keep him in the pocket, but don't let him get out and run. How good were you guys at that on Saturday? Uh, we were better uh, in this ball game than we were uh, uh, against Oklahoma or against Texas Tech. Uh, we put some emphasis on it. Um, I do think the quarterbacks, some of the quarterbacks in this league, you know, they're dual, they present a dual problem. They, they have good arms and they're also really good athletes. And so, um, you know, we really try to, to, to get our guys to understand where their fit is on that quarterback, whether you're rushing from the inside or whether you're rushing from the outside. Um, and we don't ever want to get pushed past the quarterback or get too high on the quarterback. So we want to make sure that, um, we maintain uh, leverage on him, uh, try to keep him in the cup, uh, and, and kind of have a, a team mentality when it comes to pass rushing. You know, just be in your spot, and then you will get – you you'll get an easy sack if you just – where you're supposed to be. And uh, when we're starting to understand that a little bit more, a couple times we got a little – what we call selfish rushes, and we got too high uh, above the – uh, on top of the quarterback, and he escaped. But for the most part, we were pleased with with uh, how we handled uh, uh, Dugan. He's you know he's a very very uh, good quarterback, and he, he's very good with his legs as well. And now that he's healthy, how good has Boom Massey been for you? Boom is having a really good year. Um, Boom is really um, 
his preparation has, the way he practices has improved. Everything has improved. And I, again, I contribute everything to competition. Uh, our room is better. We have more athletes in that room right now than we've had. Uh, we've always had some really good players in Reggie and Kyle, very experienced, just, just really good, smart, hard-nosed football players. Uh, these young, the, the kids that we have now, are that, but they also have some, some real, they're gifted uh, physically um, as far as with their speed and their, and their quick twitch and, and things like that. Thank you. For these last two raised hands, starting with Eric. Coach, one of those is, is Felix, and he's played a little bit in every, every ball game, but he's also started to slide inside a little bit more. Is that more to kind of be in that speed group, or is that something he could also grow into at some point? Uh, this basically right now we're using Felix because Felix came in uh, as a true freshman as an unknown to us. But what he showed us right away is that he has a re some really good pass rush ability. So we want to get him on the field in pass rush situations. He may not, you know, he's young. Uh, he, he, he's still learning our scheme and, and everything. And so uh, we just wanted to find a package where we can get him on the field and, um, and so we want want we moved him inside uh, because we felt he can help us there, and because he 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 can he's very long, he's got really good uh, athleticism, and he can run, and he per plays extremely hard uh, for a freshman. That's that's pretty uncommon. So we're excited about about his future. Now where he goes, I know Tui's probably kind of licking his lips too because Tui likes him as well. So. Uh, but uh, right now, uh, he's a defensive end. But, I mean, you know, you never know. Kids, you know, we all been around here, around football a long time. A kid comes in as a 230-pound freshman and leaves a 300-pound senior. So you never know what his body's going to do and what our needs are going to be. But we do know this. He's going to be a very good football player here at Kansas State for a long time. And with Chimari Gaines, you said that, some of it in the early going, you had to get him back in shape. Has him getting back in shape kind of what has kind of lifted his performance lately? I, I think so. I, you know, Kamari is a really smart football player, really instinctive football player. Uh, he had to miss some time. Um, and, and, and getting him back into shape was, was an issue early. Um, and, and Kamari gives us the ability to play him inside and have some um, – you know, and, and playing uh, outside and inside, he gives us a little flexibility, which is really uh, helps us um, in case, you know, if we, we, we're down a defensive end, he can play outside. If we need some help inside, we can move him inside. He, he's a flexible guy, and, and, um, and he's really intelligent, and, and we're really pleased with, with the way he's uh, progressing and, and what he's doing for us at this time. Last one here, Adam. As a whole, from the defensive end, just what changes have you seen from them since the week one loss against Arkansas State? Uh, I, I think our preparation, uh, number one. Um, uh, coaches, players, and, and everybody included. Uh, you know, we, that wasn't, you know, we didn't prepare uh, the way we should have for that ball game. Our players didn't, and, and as coaches, it's our job to get them to, uh, to do that. Um, but I think our preparation is, is the biggest thing, uh, understanding that, hey, you're not just going to be able to walk out there and get a victory. you got to prepare to win uh, each and every day. And, and, that's our, and that's our motto in the defensive end room is prepare daily with a purpose. And, and every day we try to, you know, get better at something. We want to get better at something every day, you know. So, so I, I think preparation. Is, is to answer your question is is the thing that I'm seeing different. 